So this last week has not been a good week for Charlie, Penguin Zero, or Moist Critical, however you know the big boy as, but it has not been a good week ever since the Sneeko debate that he has done, which arguably I would say the debate between Charlie and Sneeko would have to be one of the worst things I had ever seen in my entire life. Like I think I'd rather sit through the entire YouTube rewind of 2018 than have to rewatch the whole entire debate between Sneeko and Charlie as they had some of the worst takes since Skip Bayless not putting LeBron James in his top 5 NBA players of all time but despite all of this there was a post that came out earlier in the day saying that charlie was quitting youtube and content creation for, for the indefinite future due to this debate between sneeko but actually this this post itself was completely negligent as if you just had to look and actually read what was put on the patreon it said straight up in the post that Moist Critical or Charlie or Penguin Zero was not, in matter of fact, quitting internet altogether. He was just quitting these podcasts as he felt like that he stated in his video that he actually released a few hours after that all this stuff actually started to go viral. That he himself felt like he was on the internet a little bit too much and he more or less wanted to touch grass, something that he doesn't do often enough, similar to like a league player playing league 10 hours a day. He felt like he was on the internet for every single waking hour of his. His entire life and one thing that i find really funny about this whole entire situation is that the whole entire internet ran with the fact that charlie was quitting the internet due to the debate with Sneeko and other the people were actually reading the the exact post that was being posted and instead of reading what was detailed in that post towards Patreon fans and saying that he was just quitting the podcast everyone saw the title and just ran with that which to me is completely negligent and a completely stupid and it just goes to show how little of an attention span and how stupid a lot of people on the internet are as they just read a title and don't actually read into the details of any article even myself, I've accused myself and other people have accused me of doing this in the past and I can be honest that sometimes even I can be bad but honestly, not as bad as some of the people that were on Twitter over the last like 24 hours. But like I said, Charlie did come out and make a video addressing every single situation. He also addressed in this video about his takes that he put in the Sneeko debate and if you want to hear my actual opinions on some of these takes which like I said before are some of the worst takes that we've ever heard in the entirety of human history and probably arguably one of the worst debates like to be honest it would have to be up there with one of the worst debates comparing it to the u.s president presidential debate between donald trump and joe biden but even he goes ahead and he says that he felt like he didn't really voice his opinions properly and he actually wasn't taking the debate necessarily seriously as he said that he was just putting it as a conversation between two people where sneeko was trying to just you know kind of shove charlie into a hole a little bit at least with how he felt and trying to force him into more of a debate than an actual civil conversation which i can kind of sympathize with charlie a little bit especially when he says that he's not much of a debater or more of someone who just likes to talk crap a lot I mean, that's me as well. In these videos that I make, even I like to just yap a little bit, and I try not to take myself a little bit too seriously, but I feel like even then, with the internet these days, a lot of people take a lot of what you say out of context. I mean, just look at the post with Charlie initially saying that he was quitting the podcast. Everyone took it out of context and made it like he was quitting the internet altogether, and he goes ahead and actually takes back what he said entirely and says that he didn't want... You know, when he was talking about transgender kids and saying that they wanted to transition, like that they would be fine to go ahead and chop their genitals off, he was actually not really being all that serious because he didn't actually think that Sneeko would take something like that seriously because Charlie even states in his video that in most cases, it's actually not allowed for kids to go ahead and have their genitals uh, cut off if they actually want to identify as the opposite gender to what they were signed at birth. Now, me, myself, you would have asked my opinions on that. I don't think that any kid whatsoever should have their genitals cut off or definitely should be given any kind of like body altering medications at such a young age because it can affect them in the long term and later on they could find to regret it but once they turn 18 and once they are a legal age and become an adult they could definitely do whatever they want like if you're a 20 year old and you're you were born a guy and all of a sudden you would have changed to being a girl or for your teenage years you felt like you were a girl and you've gone ahead and thought about it for a long period of time that you want to go ahead and get your johnson cut off and turn it into a tunnel and then you want to start growing some absolute jugs or get them put on procedurally i think that's absolutely fine but for a kid to go ahead and want to do that to go ahead chop their johnson off or chop chop off what kind of you know chest 
breast that a woman would be growing into their teenage years. I think that that is absolutely disgusting and that to give them any type of medication is definitely not there. And also, I like how people are just focusing mostly on that when it came to the Sneeko debate and not really focusing on the fact that Sneeko says that someone at the age of 14 can be mature age, that they are fully that they can be fully grown by the age of 14, that they have finished puberty, that they have finished maturing, and they can go ahead and marry someone who is in their 20s, which to me, I think is absolutely stupid as well. I think it is one of the dumbest arguments that I have ever heard come out of a human's mouth. Like I said, I think it might be up there as one of the worst takes that anyone has ever had in human history. I don't even know if Skip Bayless's takes of putting LeBron James at ninth overall in the NBA's like all time all time list of best players, but saying that a 14 year old is definitely mature enough to go ahead and marry someone who's in their 20s, I think is one of the most dumbest arguments to ever put in human history, and is what should be focused on more. But obviously, people are just gonna go ahead and attack Charlie, especially Twitter, as Twitter is a cesspool of absolute degeneracy. And even Charlie mentions it in his videos that he's gonna go ahead and step away a little bit more from covering drama due to him like waking up in the mornings, you know, finding some dra new drama on Twitter and then it go ahead and affecting the mood of himself for the rest of the day. Even me, myself, someone who is of a small YouTuber, even I feel that, you know, whenever I go ahead and make a video on some drama on the new Predator of the week, that it can depress me a little bit. So I understand that Charlie wants to go ahead and instead of making this serious content, start to go back to making some absolute stupid degenerate content like he did in the past, which I feel is absolutely fine. I mean, his platform is his platform. And if he wants to go ahead and just talk about the new slap boxing league or how someone shoved the firework up their butt and they actually survived from all of that, I think he's absolutely fine and he's able to make whatever kind of content that he wants. And if he wants to step away from what's popular and what the drama is, despite it getting views, I feel like, you know, when you're as big as he is, you can kind of do whatever you want. And it should be what makes you happy and not just doing, you know, videos for the views, which I think is absolutely fair enough. But that's going to be it for me, guys. I kind of briefly touched all over this. Obviously, if you want to go ahead and watch my video on the original takes that I had about the Sneeko and Charlie debate, you can go and watch that on my channel. But that's going to be it for me, guys. See ya.